Hello and welcome to another Coffee Break Catch Up. I'm Mark and I'm delighted to be here today with you live coming to you from our Coffee Break Kitchen Studio here in Glasgow. It is a miserable day outside, a very wintry day, um, but we are pleased to be nice and warm in here in our Coffee Break Kitchen. Now, this is a special episode of our Coffee Break Catch Up because we've got something very exciting to be sharing with you. Um, let me just check that everything is going according to plan here. Uh, yep, so in this episode, of course, we've got our latest Coffee Break news. We're also going to be announcing the winners of our prize draw, which was part of our Black Friday sale. And then, of course, as usual, we'll have our cultural roundup where we'll be updating you on things of a cultural nature happening in various places around the world. Let us check that we can see our comments. Uh, let's see if we've got some comments here. Yeah, we've got Carletta joining us. Uh, just let me see that I can make them come up on the screen. Good. We've got uh, Michael. We've got uh, Lekram. Who else do we have? We've got uh, Hannah is giving us a wave. We've got, uh, yeah, we've got quite a number of people. Florence is back. Hi, Florence. Uh, and we've got Manal joining us on Facebook. Fantastic. So, and Gina's here too on Facebook. Sorry, Manal's on uh, YouTube, Gina's on Facebook, Heather is on YouTube, I'm an American in France, learning French, bien sûr, très bien, bon, tout le monde est là, everyone's here, let us get started first of all with our Coffee Break news, so coming up, a roundup of the latest news from Coffee Break Languages. Okay, so coming up on today's news, let me bring in our slides. First of all, we've got some news of uh, a latest episode in our Coffee Break Spanish magazine. As you know, we're running season three of the Coffee Break Spanish magazine. And episode two went out just at the end of last week. And it is a fantastic episode all about Salamanca, the beautiful city of Salamanca in the north of Spain, in the Castilla y León region. Um, so this is Un Viaje Express por Salamanca, and you can catch that on the Coffee Break Spanish feed already. Now, coming out tomorrow is a new episode of the Coffee Break German magazine. And in this episode, we are heading to the country or the principality of Liechtenstein. And we, the reason we're going there is because Liechtenstein is celebrating its 300th anniversary this year. So we thought it would be a good place to go for a special episode of the Coffee Break German magazine. So that's out tomorrow. It will be out tomorrow around 6 p.m. UK time. So if you're a German learner, you can look forward to that. Now, also coming up uh, tomorrow is, we, well, we've been talking recently lots about music and how you can use uh, different types of, of music, different songs to improve your language learning. And we are adding a new collection of music to uh, our, our whole collections on the, the site tomorrow um, in the shape of uh, some festive songs. So a special article all about songs for the festive season in many languages. And actually, we've been building a playlist on Spotify and on YouTube as well, so that you can do some festive singing along with these songs. So you can look forward to that tomorrow on the site. Also in the news, uh, we have our latest episodes of Coffee Break Italian to go and Coffee Break French to go. So this time we're talking age. We're asking the question, quanti anni hai? How many years do you have, literally? Or, of course, quel âge avez-vous en français? What age are you in French? So that is the, those are the latest episodes of our Coffee Break To Go video series, which you can find here on our YouTube channel. If you're watching on YouTube, of course, you may be watching on Facebook. If you're watching on Facebook, then just look for Coffee Break Languages on YouTube and you'll be able to find those latest episodes. So that's our roundup of our Coffee Break news. But of course, there's one extra thing that we need to do, and that is announce the results of our competition for Black Friday. As you know, over the course of Black Friday, uh, the Black Friday weekend at least, we were announcing, or we were running rather, a prize draw. And in this prize draw, three lucky winners are just about to win our entire language library. So that is our entire library of language courses. There are 63 courses over 30 languages. 
and is a prize worth well over £2,000 or $2,500. We are very excited to be about to announce the winners of this competition and I hope you're watching. If you're watching, do let us know um, if you are one of the lucky winners in the, uh, in the comments. If you're not watching, we'll be in touch by email and uh, if you don't reply to the email, then we'll draw another name out of the hat. But these three winners were drawn out the hat a little earlier today, so it's time to announce our winners. Are you ready? We should have a drum roll here. I don't think I've got a drum roll button, but I do have a little video to announce our winners. Here we go. So congratulations indeed to our three lucky winners. Let's just have a look at the names again. Our three lucky winners are Karen Hunt, Gina Shearston and Jill Cousins. I hope I'm pronouncing these names correctly. So huge congratulations to our three winners. And what will happen, um, you will be receiving an email later today. Uh, if you are one of our lucky winners and you will be uh, will give you an explanation of how this will all happen and basically we'll add all the courses to your account on the Coffee Break Academy and you'll be able to start learning any language you like. You indeed have a, a lifetime of language learning there on the Coffee Break Academy through our prize draw for this Black Friday. Now if you have uh, signed up for one of the courses over the course of our Black Friday sale then we're, you're very very welcome. We're delighted to have you uh, as part of the Coffee Break Academy and we hope that you're enjoying using the course already and taking your first steps in learning a language or improving an existing language um, as we head towards the end of the year and a new year of language learning. A new year of language learning which is actually going to be very exciting for us because we've got lots of new projects as I'm sure you know. We are going to be launching Coffee Break French Season 5. We are also going to be launching a new course in Swedish. So Coffee Break Swedish is coming your way. And we are also delighted to be announcing our Coffee Break English course. So that the first one of them is going to be for Spanish learners. And you'll be able to learn with us. If you're an English learner and a Spanish native speaker, you'll be able to learn with us um, through a Coffee Break course for English learners in the new year. So we're really excited about all of these new developments for 2020. Of course, the rest of our content will continue and you can look forward to more lessons across all our languages. Okay, let us move on now to another uh, part of our uh, catch up and that is something that we always do and we always do some reviews. So let's move to our reviews. Well done again to our winners. But what I wanted to do is share a couple of reviews with you. So this is from Joyce White, who commented on the Coffee Break Academy. And Joyce said, I'm finding this French program very good for several reasons. The lessons are divided into manageable chunks. It's easy to review small portions of the text. The lesson notes are invaluable. The explanations are clear and they cover points that are often new for me. I'm copying the text and notes in a notebook, which helps me learn the spelling and accent. So it all takes time, but it's worth it. Joyce, thank you very much indeed. Merci beaucoup for your comment. We also have a Facebook review from Sibylla here. Someone had the fantastic idea that the listening learner, that's me, is learning at the same time as the person in the podcast. If your level of German is similar to the learner on the podcast, time and time again, you'll have the same questions. It's very much like being able to ask them yourself. Genius idea. Vielen Dank oder vielen Danken. No, not sure. Well, Sibylla, you're, you're, you're almost right there. It's vielen Dank. That is how you say thank you very much. So thank you, vielen Dank uh, to you, Sibylla. And uh, one final one here, and that is our Coffee Break Chinese, uh, a review from Apple Podcasts from Elisa. This podcast has been so helpful in my Mandarin learning. Hearing conversations broken down and tone corrections has improved my conversational skills so much. Both hosts are patient in explaining and learning. Uh, I listen to a lot of podcasts and I've never learned so much before this one. Absolutely fantastic. Hugely recommended for Mandarin learners. Okay, so thank you very much indeed, Elisa, for your comment. It's time now to take a look at our cultural update for this week. So we're getting ready to have a look at what's coming up culturally this coming weekend.
OK, so coming up this weekend, let me bring in our slides. We've got some interesting things happening this weekend. And of course, as ever, we will be sharing the links for these cultural events in our catch up newsletter. If you're not yet subscribed to the newsletter, make sure you head over to radiolingua.com slash newsletter where you are able to sign up for our newsletter and that will be delivered every Friday. In the newsletter, we'll share some information about the latest coffee break news, obviously, but also the links for these cultural articles. So let's take a look at the articles now. First of all, we're going to Germany and to Berlin for the Zeughaus Messe, which is a modern art exhibition taking place in Berlin uh, and it starts today. So if you're into art, then it's the perfect place to go. Next up, we have got the Mercato nel Campo, a festival in Siena, which is all about food and drink and all sorts of wonderful things to taste. So if you're into that, then why not head to Siena this weekend? Coming up, in fact, starting tomorrow, is the Festival Internacional de Cinema in Tarragona in Spain. And that happens from the 6th to the 12th of December. And I like this one, A Fiera de Castaña. Now, you'll be thinking, that doesn't look much like French. It's actually Corsican or Corse. So, a fiera de castagna is actually la foire de la châtaigne, which is the chestnut festival in Corsica, and that's happening this coming weekend. So, again, there is information on our uh, catch-up newsletter. There are links to articles about those particular festivals, both in English and, indeed, in the language of the festival. So you'll be able to follow up there and have a look at that if you're subscribed to the newsletter. If not, then it's radiolingua.com slash newsletter. I think I've got a link somewhere for that. Uh, maybe not, OK, but I'm sure the team will put that in the comments. So radiolingua.com slash newsletter. OK, it's time now to have a look at some of your comments. So let me just move this over uh, to here so that we can see this. Um, let's have a look. So we have got a number of people joining us today. As I said, I think we got as far as Gina earlier on. So uh, Gina is saying, ciao, Mark. Ciao, Gina. Um, we've got Gayathri who's saying bonjour, bonjour Gayathri. It's always good to see lots of people that, that we recognise here, uh, names joining us. Here's Philippe uh, who's giving us a wave. I believe Philippe is in the south of France. Uh, we've got Malin joining us from Sweden. Hey, hey. Uh, we've got Jan joining us from Virginia. You're very welcome, Jan. Uh, we've got Velogu saying j'apprends le français. Très bien. Uh, Paul is saying, bonjour, ça va? Ça va très bien. Et vous, Paul? J'espère que ça va bien. Dot Boyd is saying, hola, hola Dot. Uh, we've got Holly, who is watching from Indianapolis and currently learning German. And Holly is looking forward to Swedish next year. Jette bra! We were recording Swedish earlier this week, so I'm in a bit of a Swedish mood this week. Um, we've got Jane, who is in Australia, in Perth. It must be the middle of the night, Jane, for you. Um, I hope you're not too tired. Um, Jean is learning Spanish. Um, Velogu was saying, J'espère que je vais gagner le Grand Prix. Désolé, unless you happen to be one of the people that we announced. Um, we've got Wilma joining us from South Africa. Um, Keith is joining us from Hertfordshire. Hi, Keith, nice to see you here. Uh, Michelle is saying hello. I don't know why this one's not coming up. There we go. There we go. And uh, Letty is joining us from Deutschland and she wants to learn German, or he wants to learn German. I'm sorry if I got that wrong. Um, we've got Sassy Karn from Thailand joining us. Fantastic. Um, oh, Marion, I'm sorry to hear this. Marion was in, is, is in the UK but supposed to be in France today, but your flight was cancelled due to the massive grève, the grève, the strikes that are happening in France today. Sorry to hear that. Nicole is with us again. Salve a tutti. OK, Malin saying, ah, right, this is interesting. This is going to be a big comment. It's going to appear on the screen. Let me see if I can get it here. Um, now this is when my computer is deciding to play up. I am not sure if this is continuing to work. There we go. OK, so Malin is saying, may I add something to this, uh, something Swedish to the cultural roundup for prospective coffee break Swedish learners? Of course you can. 
In my hometown, Yevla, we have a special Christmas decoration. It's the world's, world's largest, largest straw goat. In the past, it was the Christmas goat that delivered gifts in Sweden, and goats are still common Christmas decorations here, especially straw ones. Ours is about 13 metres tall, and it is put up for the first of Advent and welcomed with a very festive ceremony every year. Malin, thank you so much for sharing that. That is fantastic. Uh, I love to hear information from our, our uh, viewers. So just a few more hellos before we finish off. Christina saying bonjour. We've got Ida joining us from Austin, Texas. Um, uh, we've got Bill joining us from the Catskill Mountains. They're very snowy. I've seen some of the snowy pictures from New York this week. Um, Arturo is joining us from Miami. We've got Chad saying hola. Fantastic. Um, We've got uh, Anna Mareta saying, hey son, hey son, Franz Ferje, Mark, learning Spanish. Jette uh, bra. And uh, Kyoko is joining us from Tokyo at after midnight. Um, well, good evening to you, Tokyo, uh, Kyoko from Tokyo. Um, thank you very much. Well, that is almost where we're going to leave it for this week. Once again, huge congratulations to our three winners. We're delighted that you are that you've all taken part in this competition, um, and we very much hope that our three winners. So that was Jill, Karen, and Gina. Let me just double check. Uh, let me bring back that slide. Uh, so we've got our winners here. Yeah, Jill, Karen, and Gina we would be uh, we're, we're delighted that you have won and we hope that you enjoy the prize and that you take advantage of all of this uh, language content that you is that coming your way very soon that is almost it as ever thank you for joining us for the coffee break catch up we will be back next week with another catch up and we will be updating you on plans for over the festive period uh, because some of the the podcasts will be paused over the, pe the festive period so we'll be explaining all of that next week but of, as ever I have to finish with a thank you and goodbye in another language. And I think today, since we were talking about the, the chestnut festival in Corsica, I'm going to do this in Corsican. So I would like to say, Arringraziavi e alla prossima. My Corsican's not very good, but that's as good as it's going to get. So Arringraziavi a prossima. See you soon. Thank you for joining us today. And we'll be back again soon with another coffee break catch up. In the meantime, of course, Happy coffee breaking. Bye-bye.